just as an experiment, I wanted to, to get a feel for what kinds of evidence is out there supporting vegetables and health. And so what I did was I went on PubMed, and which is a search engine for those of you who don't know, the scientific articles, and um, uh, there are over 80,000 studies about vegetables, so I obviously couldn't go through all of those, uh, narrowed them down to, the, to uh, randomized controlled studies having to do with vegetables and health. And I used the word health because if anything, that might induce a positive bias. It's looking for evidence to support vegetables. And so, unfortunately, most of these studies I, I had to eliminate uh, from, from the consideration because most of them were irrelevant to the question. The vast majority of studies about vegetables were about how to get people to eat more of them, not about whether or not they were actually healthy. So, and of the studies that remained, 18 of them were negative. The investigators were looking for health benefits from vegetables and didn't find what they were hoping to see. And as you might notice here, uh, the, another problem with vegetable studies is that the vast majority of vegetable studies are not studies of vegetables. They're studies of fruits and vegetables. And fruits and vegetables are very different uh, from a plant point of view and from our point of view. They're, they're just completely different creatures. So hard to say. So in the positive studies, I found 10 positive studies, but unfortunately none of them controlled for refined carbohydrates. It's very hard to say whether or not the health benefits that the investigators claimed were due to the vegetables were due to the vegetables or whether they were due to the fact that the people who were eating more fruits and vegetables were eating less refined carbohydrate. And 10 other positive studies, unfortunately, manipulated more than one variable. So they didn't just add more vegetables to people's diets. They also happened to reduce sodium or reduce saturated fat or um, add exercise, et cetera. So it's just hard to tell which part of the diet was or, or the intervention was responsible for the health benefit. I'm not saying that the vegetables couldn't have been responsible because they could have been. We just can't tell because of the way the studies were designed. 